Hey guys, Melissa Dodge here, Executive Director at 31 Gifts, and I wanted to talk to you about authentically finding your voice to build your business your way. And there's lots of ways to do it. And so I think first, I wanna give you permission, um, because I always need permission, to kind of go outside the box a little bit. And so if you need that permission, I'm giving it to you today to think outside the box a little bit. And when I say box, I think we hear things from people when they guide us and help tell us how um, to run our business or you know help us. And I'm sure when I tell girls things, they hear things a little differently of, make sure you do it this way and that's the only way. Um, when everybody that's sharing is always trying to share, you know, this is what's worked for me, this is a way to do it. So I wanted to share first that you have permission to do it your way because I think that we struggle with getting outside that box sometimes. So let's figure out what that box would look like. What does it look like to build the business your way? Because it's gonna look differently for each of you. So let's think about what's specific to you. So first of all, your why. Why do you do this business? That's the first thing that we ask you. Why do you join? But I want you to think about a lot is what do you love about 31 that you would miss if you didn't do it? Or what do you love about 31 that you've seen in other consultants? What, what benefits have you seen them have to 31? I will share for me, it, there's kind of threefold. One is the sisterhood. I've moved a lot. It's been hard building friendships where I've lived in different places. And I have found my truest friendships in 31. I have found people that really, um, I feel like I fit with, that they love me for who I am and that we build each other up. And it's just a fit, right? So for me, I, find, I found women that have the values that I have that push me to be a better person. So that's the first part. The second part is the giving. I love that 31 is focused on giving. We've given more than $4 million just from rounding up. So our customers really have given more than $4 million. 31's given over $100 million in cash and products. So for me, being able to connect with local organizations um, and build up um, friendships and relationships locally because of our giving has been huge for me, but also just finding purpose in what I do and being able to give to others. Um, another part of 31 that I love is the personal development. Um, I'm a stay at home mom if I don't do 31. And in addition to 31, I've got five kids. And so um, finding that outlet to grow in who I am. It pushes me to be a better person. It pushes me to learn more about who I really am to go out there and work with other people and love on other people and share and sell and do all those things. So those are why I do it. And I want you to really authentically think about why do you love it and why would you love it even more? And then use that for what you're doing and how you're doing it. Um, the second part is going to be where. Do you love, where do you love talking about 31? Where is it authentic to you? How is it authentic to you? Um, is it more authentic to talk to someone one-on-one -on -one, or is it more authentic to talk to a group of people at the same time? Do you love planning parties and being a part of the party? Do you love planning parties and not being a part of the party? Like me, I'm an introvert. I love helping a hostess have an awesome party and being there, but being to the side and not part of the fun necessarily. Like I like to be there, but I don't necessarily want to um, make it a fun party, if that makes any sense. But that's just who I am. I, I like to be in the background of those kinds of things. Um, and I like being online and be helping people, um, being an expert of, like I like being an expert of my products and sharing that and helping someone maybe get more organized or find um, more fun or more joy in um, their day because they have a pretty bag, right? So that's what I like. I like talking one-on-one -on -one people. So I like networking. I like being able to go to a meeting and it be all about business. And my business is sharing 31 products. Like I love that I get asked to share at a at a network mark, network, um, networking meeting with other people. When, when do you love to do your business? When is it fun for you? Is it fun when the kids are all running around with you? Um, that actually is kind of a fun time for me is to sit when my kids are kind of distracted, but I'm amongst them and I don't necessarily want to be engaged with them. I'm not necessarily doing the games or whatever because they're all having their own fun, but I still need to be there to kind of oversee the fights and those kinds of things. So 
me having my own purpose amongst that chaos has actually been something that's good for me, um, where some people like to be by themselves. Some people like to have something to go out. Maybe you go to a coffee shop. You have a reason to go do that and work on your business, have that quiet time because it energizes you. So all these things are things you're thinking through that brings you energy and joy in your business. Um, another part of it is what is your work style? Like, how do you enjoy working? I enjoy working with people. I don't, I like working by myself on certain situations. So if I have kind of my go-to to-do list for the week, I'm good. I'm by myself. I can do it. I'm motivated. But a lot of times I like to get that list made with people. So I like to connect with people and process and figure out, okay, what are my tasks this week? Why do I want to do these things? How do I do them? Um, and just kind of come up with the plan with people. And so there's over 500 women in here. You can find people if there's people that you want to work with. Talk to your director, your director will work with you, whoever it is. If you like working with people, let's work together. If you like working alone, awesome. Find those spaces that work best for you. So I'm gonna be sharing some ideas on how to use your authentic voice. So now that you've figured out kind of your why, your where, your how, when, all of those as authentic to you, how do you enjoy sharing? So for example, you like sharing one, like if you're like me, you like talking to people one-on-one, -on -one, getting to know them really well and finding just the right products for them. How do you make that work in each situation and which situations are more fun for you? For me, it's having someone come to my office and I walk through all the products with them and help them build a very strong order, right? Like probably $150, $200 average order. And then, um, but I also like at a party to pull someone aside and help them um, at the party figure out what works well for them. So I wanna use that where, you know, maybe the presentation doesn't take as long as the one-on-one -on -one time takes. Um, maybe I'm working, maybe I do more open house style parties. Maybe I like being an expert in sharing new ideas on Facebook, so I use my group to share new ideas. So process all of that, like take your joys and what energizes you and apply it to these different situations and see how you get there. And then um, also check out, I will have a couple of posts about continuing the conversation with people after you've figured out what works for you and then you need to keep them kind of in your funnel and kind of connected with them and building that authentic conversation with them. So thanks guys. I look forward to sharing more with you. Bye.